the more puppies, the better. Oh, right? Okay, wait, wait a minute, ladies. Oh, I'm going to have to stop. How you, about okay? 13, and you can take Lucy two. Lucy got involved with cat videos, so we, after a year of cat videos, we had to get a cat. John David got a dog named Fat Boy, Fat Boy and Cement. Then she got obsessed with guinea pigs. Oh Finally, boy! Finally, to break her of her guinea oh, pig no. video habit, we now have Abby and Chloe, mm. whose cage mommy gets to clean every morning by 7:30. So you have a small farm. They happening poop in your house. a lot. <laughs> that house is rocking. The guinea pigs are this pig, and they, they poop a whole cage full. I'm gonna tell you <laughs> something, something Nancy. To look to. I, I can't wait. I think yeah. I think you need a few more puppies in the house. <laughs> How Anything about that? but more guinea pigs. You know, we'll, we'll, we can send these puppies your way. Abby eating me out of house and Oh, home. boy, it sounds like a mystery to me. I have to give them a full-on adult salad every night. You know who makes that? Me. <laughs> Do they? Are they all still She's alive and well in the house? And so far, my husband keeps threatening to release them to the wild. <laughs> Sounds like a Haley Dean mystery. Let's not make that happen. We have a lot of ground to cover. Yes. Okay. So in in this new limited series, well, basically, let's let me just back up a little bit. So Haley Dean is a. a Therapist who used to be prosecutor, yes. who is based loosely based on you and your story, Miss Nancy Grace, which I absolutely love. And you show up in every <laughs> single one of these movies. Yep. Now, in this newest limited series, but you play a different character each time. In this new limited series, you play the same character. So, who are you playing this time? I really had to draw on yeah. a lot of outside experiences to portray myself <laughs> in this movie. Okay? So, you're playing yourself in all I'm of the movies. I'm playing myself. Now. And I've got to tell you, uh, the first time I had, I, I like to put my name in the same phrase with Alfred Hitchcock to pretend there's some <laughs> kind of connection. Because, you know, he used to have a little cameo. Yes, that's so, true. that's where I got the idea from. And uh, Kelly, helped me a lot on this. The first time I was a rude receptionist, it was so awesome. You were a lawyer awesome. the first time. Oh, wait, no, no. And I was a defense were, lawyer. Eek. Yes, you were. And then I was a rude which receptionist, was a too, right? which I love because I got to go whole place, okay? But my favorite one was when you were the waitress, the, actually, at the Mexican the restaurant. I love that. That was my favorite, too. Waitress. I love that one. I, I gave her, I waited on her table and gave her all sorts of love Dating advice. advice. Right, that she didn't ask for, by and the way. No, I love since it. I wasn't asked. So was but this time, I'm on to the murder, mm. and I am trying to solve it from the anchor chair. So how does she do playing herself? Does she does she do okay? very well, and Haley's right. very um, flattered that she has an interest, that Nancy Grace has an interest in her mystery. That's one way to put it. And um, shes it's really nice because also Nancy kind of catches everybody up on what's right. happening, you know, just kind of encapsulates. You That's know. crystallized in our minds what's happened up yes. till now in yes. the murder investigation. Which is helpful when you're watching a two-hour mystery. That's true. Did you have to do a lot of um, research on yourself <laughs> to, to she, figure out? I tried Googled not herself. to Google myself. <laughs> That's my banned Google in the house. Forget right. it. We have a clip of the movie, which is great, by the way. Of the, the first in the series is 2 plus 2 equals murder, where someone from Haley's past unexpectedly shows up. Let's take a look. You have another patient this evening? I don't think so. Well, I'll leave you to it. Tomorrow we can talk about paint colors. Oh, excuse me. Haley? Clyde Bennett. It's been a long time. And now we learn traces of her blood found in the school. Listen, I hope I wasn't interrupting. Oh, I was done for the day. We can now confirm of the missing teacher, Atlanta Homicide has been called in. We can confirm that. That lady loves crime. It's a horrible, horrible story. Yeah. Naomi Sachs is not missing. She's dead. Uh -oh. Whoa! Uh -oh. oh, Nancy, she is dead. She tells it like it is. She is dead. So that handsome mystery man that has come back yeah. into your life is someone who was in your life a long yes. time ago as well. That's yes. Mr. Chad Lowe. That's Mr. Chad Lowe. Your co-star from When Life Goes On. Absolutely. And what's funny is we actually reconnected on Home and Family when we were on That's here right. together. I hadn't seen him in years. And on that show with yeah. you, we actually, um, he said, he and I said, we have to work together again. Like, it's been too long. So then when this opportunity came up to have this character, you know, come back a couple of times, so... We asked him, and he was available. He was. And we have had so much fun working together. It's yeah, been a blast. I believe her words were, "He's a hottie." I think that's how <laughs> this whole hottie. Thing. I have always yeah. thought he was a hottie. Well, his arrival in the sh in, in the movie is, is really life changing for for Haley, and this is something that really hits close to home for you, Nancy. 
It does. Um, when we started, I started writing the Haley Dean Murder Mysteries a long, long time ago when I first came out of the courtroom in Atlanta to start Cochran and Grace with Johnny Cochran. I had no idea we would find a home here at Hallmark, right. much less with Kelly Martin starring as Haley Dean. I had no, yeah. It's a miracle, actually. But I never really wanted to get into my fiancé's murder and how that inspired the Haley Dean character. But there came a point where, you know, we felt we had to go forward with Haley Dean and her flaws. Oh, there's Keith. Oh, wow. Um, who also was uh, on baseball scholarship when we mm -hmm. met. And uh, shortly before our wedding, he was murdered, which, oh you know, the rest of the story. And um, I didn't want to talk about it. I didn't want it to right. be part of the movie. I didn't want to. I wanted Haley to be a murder mystery machine. Right. But, you know, so many people come to this with baggage or heartache or a flaw. Mm -hmm. And Haley Dean really inspires them. So this was something we, we had to do right. for Haley. Right. And Clyde is is a big part of the series and he will continue. Yeah, right? oh. he was Will's best friend. Yeah. So he comes back into Haley's life mm -hmm. and which kind of forces slash inspires her to confront her past and she realizes that she's ready to solve that murder. Sets quite a chain of events into motion. Yes, yes and these chain of events continue into the second movie, mm -hmm. by the way, mm -hmm. which is A Marriage Made for Murder, which is premiering on June 10th. You really didn't on, say it correctly. It's A Marriage <laughs> Made for Murder. Oh, pardon And then me. you can do your maniacal <laughs> app. <laughs> okay. So that, work okay, on it, okay? It's a, a Marriage Made for Murder. murder. There you go. <laughs> there you premiering go. Premiering June 10th on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. And if you want to see a little bit more of that, take a look at this clip. Why do I get the feeling that you didn't just want to grab a cup of coffee? Maybe I'm in the market for some new art for my office. Are you? Or are you just trying to get more information? I'm a multitasker. Oh, what is it now? I just wanted to apologize to you. I hope I didn't make things harder for you. No, I, I should thank you, actually. I wouldn't have known what happened to Victor without you. Well, I didn't mean to cause you any pain. I was already in pain. You may be causing me confusion, but that's better than the alternative. The alternative? I accept your apology. Maybe you'd like to see some of Lawrence's photos now. They are very good. Oh my, my tanner's gonna come off on you now. <laughs> um, now that clip that we just saw, by the way, is riveting and gives Thank me you. chills. It was shot in an art gallery and a lot of it is, is focused around an art gallery. Yes. Now I know that the two of you in real life are big art fans. I know that you love to collect, you do some yourself, but something else that I know about you is that your children are all of them budding Picasso. Oh, of course. My 11-year-old especially, she's in her blue period right she's, now. Is she? Yes. Yeah. She's, she's 11. About, she's pretty Right, I know. see. She, yes. They do some really great artwork. I mean, I'm not even kidding. Well, my two-year-old, not so much. I mean, she like, scribbles on the wall. Well, but we have some Maggie's art. quite good, actually. Maggie's, I think, are inspired by her animals. Her, she, oh, no, that's, that's Olivia. That's Olivia. And yeah, yeah she's, just, she's just picking up a marker. Wow. And Maggie Isn't is- Isn't that good? Maggie's very inspired by the animals that we have at our house, horses and goats and her dog. Oakley, who she is obsessed oh with, gosh. and this is a series oh that she's doing on Oakley, Look, like the she blue dog. She it does is. a new one almost every day, and Oakley is her muse, and that's kind of Maggie's thing right now. She's quite that's talented. Really I beautiful. Think. I think she's going to be painting another fifteen dogs when you bring those all those puppies home. Yes, 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 yes she's getting very adopted. happy about that. And the I'm twins hear a lot about that are right very now. good as well. They really I was impressed are. with their work. They really Nancy. are. Okay, there we are. There we are on our last trip last summer. And look at uh, that. Yep. Oh. How old are like, they now? That was actually in the third grade. Wow. And um, there you go. Look at that. Lucy did oh that. Oh my God. In that. I, I, I'm, I'm so knocked out with them. And Lucy is very meticulous, and John David is the mayor of Funville. His is all about, you know, the colors and the funniness and the just blast on the, on the page. And she's very, very meticulous. And uh, just like a I'm going to show you a cartoon she did. They're really, really well, Oh, wait. Look, this is all freehand. Oh, wow. All oh, freehand. So and she, she, they had an assignment where they had to write a cartoon, and it's really a book report. Look at that. 
all freehand. She is so good. Yeah, yeah. and she was uh, nine when she did that. That is a whole lot of talent in one I family, know. ladies. I can't believe <laughs> it. Do they have any aspirations to be actors or actresses? Um, I think Maggie wants to be a vet. John David Much wants better to choice. be a yeah. comedian, and Woo! Lucy wants to be a vet's assistant. I'm like, no. Well, we got the vet. You can be the vet's assistant. Yeah, there you go. I'll be the assistant. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Because I sure know how to clean up guinea pig poop. <laughs> you sure know how to clean up a mess, and by yes, that I, I mean a murder mess. Yeah. Thank Don't you. Don't you, Nancy Grace. You too. I love you, Kelly. Love you both, ladies. <laughs> you all, be sure to catch this Haley Dean Mystery Series, three-part limited series, by the way, event kicking off this Sunday night at 9, 8 central with 2 plus 2 equals... Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow.